Imagine a sharp pain or a piece of plastic stuck painfully in your vein. This was the reality for Philomena Asiedua, who after delivering her baby at Mamopi General Hospital, was left with a cannula stuck in her left vein in her left arm. Despite her desperate pleas, the hospital initially refused to take responsibility or cover the cost for its removal. Well, currently I am at the Mamobi General Hospital where an incident occurred. Um, this is with me here as Philomena Asiedua where she had a surgery, she had a baby last week, um, but during the procedure a cannula was left inside her vein. Um, but then I'll just want her to explain further how the issues have pan out over these last few days. Asiedua, so then I see it. I came to give birth at the Mamubi Hospital, but had a cesarean session. After the operation, I'm over there, so I'm actually feeling um, something over there. I feel like a, a pain, something like that there. So, Pacha, wait me until I'm just before I was discharged, I discovered that the cannula was broken in my vein. I was given a referral letter to Kolobo, but the doctors there informed me that the procedure wasn't free. It would typically charge a thousand Ghana cedis, but agreed to take 600 Ghana cedis for Mamobi Hospital. When I returned to Mamobi, they told me to borrow money for the surgery but I didn't have any. I explained that I had no one to turn to for help. Mam Regional Hospital, I'm so kind. Um, so I have the husband here with me too. I came with her. I came with her. The hospital staff told us they will speak with the doctors and asked us to wait. After two hours, they will speak with the doctors and asked us to wait. After two hours, they directed us to go to the administration. There, the person in charge told us to come back at 4 p.m. However, by the time I had already left for Kolebu to look after my children in the incubator, later, I asked my wife what happened, and she told me the hospital didn't attend to her and instead asked her to come back today. My pastor advised that he would come with my wife instead of me, and I agreed and went back to Kolebu. My pastor later called to say they were at Joy FM. Well, so I'm still here with the family. We came to the hospital to make inquiries to find out if this is indeed true. So um, I spoke to the doctor and people in charge, and they actually confirmed the fact that, yes, it's true, the cannula was left inside her vein. Um, initially, they asked for her to write um, a report um, stating what actually happened to her um, so that the hospital can help. That is Mamobi General Hospital. But then another um, superior who is also here says that, um, well, those in charge who would probably have to sign off the money for her to uh, know around. So we are waiting to see what the hospital has to say. Um, because if not, she would have to go through the weekend. Because today is a Friday, and then a Saturday, then a Sunday. So it means she has to wait through till a Monday. Um, it's barely like around 2 p.m. right now. We're still at the Mamobi General Hospital, waiting on what the hospital has to say. Because this has been days. How, how long has this been? I said, well, days now, could you sing? And then we... It's been a week already since the cannula was left inside. Yes, so it's been one week. So we're still waiting. Um, 19 July, currently here, waiting on what the hospital has to say. The turning point came when concerned church members, supported by a news team member, confronted the hospital staff after several confrontations with the family. Mamo P General Hospital finally agreed to pay the 600 Ghana cities needed for the procedure at Kolebotichin Hospital. We joined Philomena and her family as they made their way to Kolebo. Arriving at 3.19 p.m., the anxious wait began. After 40 to 50 minutes, they were faced with a choice. Wait for the busy surgeons or return on Monday. Philomena, determined to end her suffering, chose to wait. Late that evening, 
the family was informed that the procedure would take place the following day. Despite the successful removal of the cannula, the trauma lingered. We returned to Mamobi Hospital the following week, seeking the side of the story. On Monday, July 22, 2024, we were asked to come back the next day, only to be met with silence as the hospital delayed their response pending an internal investigation. Well, I just came out of Matmobi General Hospital's administration uh, just to follow up on the issue of a cannula being left in a patient's vein. Um, but then I was here yesterday, which is Monday. The issue happened on Friday. And Monday, I came here just to um, get um, clarification as to what actually transpired and what the hospital is doing about this issue. But then I was sent away to come back the following day, which is today, 23rd July, 2024. But then the hospital, um, after deliberations this afternoon, says that um, they haven't been given the clearance to speak on this issue. But to even suggest a higher authority for me to speak to, um, they said they are equally not in the right space to do that. Philomena's ordeal is a stark reminder of the critical issues within our healthcare system. Her resilience and determination highlight the urgent need for accountability and reform. Reporting for Joy News, I am Jacqueline Ansuma Yeboah.